Oh, nice people. It's your girl, Nicely No Massage, and I decided today that I'm going to share with you what I gave one. So what I have before you, nice people, is the Alienware 17R4. This is my baby. This is what I have been gaming on probably since January. So, Alien 17R4, aka my boo. No, but seriously, honestly, like this truly is my spouse. I purchased it back in January, and since then, this is pretty much what I do a lot of my console captures on, as well as a lot of my PC gaming. Um, I always have loved Alienware, and I think it started off as just a, a, being a kid. You know, you kind of like stuff for stupid reasons as a child, and who am I kidding? As an adult, you like things for stupid reasons. So, I've always still loved Alienware. I don't know, because maybe the name sounded cool, because I like the little alien. Whatever reason, back when I started liking it, it had nothing to do with the actual computer and the, the specs and any of that. It was just, it just sounded cool and it looked cool. And then as an adult, I really kind of figured out how cool they pretty much are. And granted, I still probably feel that the name is cool and the little alien is cool. But I am also always have been a fan of their hardware, their design. It's always just been really nice and really sleek. So kind of something like a bucket list check off was getting an alien computer. And I, let me tell you, I've always been a desktop person. Desktop all the way. I'm like, come on, gaming laptops, I'll get that out of here. I don't even want that. And I know what a lot of people will say is why? Why? Well, they probably won't sound like that because they probably won't be girls. It's more be like, why? Why would you go and get an Alienware laptop when you can build your own PC? Would you spend on that? You could have built a monster PC. I know that. I know that. And I've built a PC before. And that experience was a wonderful experience, a very daunting experience, um, a very scary experience for me. I've always loved computers, always been able to navigate them really well, always been playing video games, PC games. Uh, as, as a kid, my father would buy me a computer and I would take apart the CPU and I'd be all in there just, just rewiring stuff, having no idea what I'm doing. But I did get to a point a couple years ago where I wanted to build my own PC and I really wasn't into PC gaming, but the one thing that did make me go into it was the Oculus. When the DK2 kit came out, I purchased one, got my hands on one, and um, from that point on, I was like, yeah, I need a better rig than what I'm playing on right now. And that is when I undertook the whole building your own PC type situation. And like I said, it was daunting. It took me forever. There are so many times throughout that process after spending so much money on motherboards and sound cards and just that the processor itself and putting it all together, I was just like, oh God, I should never have done this. But it worked out right. And after a grueling six hours, I had my PC put together. And it is working to this day, I'm happy to say. Um... But I'm pretty much done with desktop gaming. And I guess I didn't really, really know that until I got this bad baby. Let me tell you, being able to take this upstairs, one, in order for me, I have consoles like kind of all over the house. So if I want to play on the PS4 Pro, which is upstairs, as opposed to the one that's downstairs, then all I have to do is bring this up here with my capture card. If I want to go downstairs to play on the Switch, I just take this with me. If I want to go play on the Xbox One that's up in the bedroom, I just... We can't do that with a desktop. And this is that's one of the things that I love about this. This is basically a mobile desktop. I don't even want to categorize this as a laptop. So enough about that. Let me tell you about this beautiful hardware and everything that you are seeing before you on the screen. One, with this guy here, um, again, as I was saying, it is the Alienware 17R4. It has an Intel processor i7-6700, 2.6 gigahertz. Um, it does come with 16 gigabytes of RAM DDR4, and it is expandable up to 32 gigs of RAM, if I choose to. Um, it does have a solid state drive, so you have your boot drive, which is 128 gigs, and then I have a solid state drive of one terabyte of storage as well. Um, when it comes to the video card, uh, my graphics card, it has a uh, GeForce GTX 1070. So, not too shabby there. One of the things that I really, really like, I do like all of the real estate that I'm getting here with this beautiful, magnificent screen right here. Corner to corner, we're talking 17.3 inches, bow, y'alls. Anti-glare display here, FHD. Um, and one, my favorite, I was about to say two, haven't gotten to two yet. One, 
my favorite <laughs> is the Toby IR eye tracking that goes on right here. So I don't know. I think this thing is probably for the sleep. Wake up, which I have an opportunity to show you how it works. So let me come around. The Toby IR eye tracking happens right here. I don't know if you can see this, but I will zoom in here. You see this red dot that just ticking away and it's telling me that it is looking for me. With the eye tracking and the face recognition, all I have to kind of do is just put my face here and make sure that it is me. And once it has confirmed this beautiful face it sees before its screen, it will say hello to me and then go ahead and take me into my system. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I love that. I absolutely love it. But let me tell you, that even gets more sophisticated with the Toby eye tracking because if you're playing certain games like The Division, Ghost Recon Wildlands, Watch Dogs 2, um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, you can actually use the head movement and the eye tracking within the game to signal to your teammates certain things. Like they built that into the actual gaming in order to use that tracking. So that's actually pretty sweet. I will say that this thing is massive. It is heavy. That is why I call it a mobile desktop. Like if you're trying to get something that's just easy to tote around, you can take on vacation, you know, you have no problem going through airport security, this is not it even though I do take it through airport security. It is a mobile desktop, literally. This thing is a whopping 9.7 pounds. It's heavy. Like, sit this on your legs, and you're on here, I'm on here editing or playing a game for an hour, yeah, your legs are dead. Dead legs all day long. But it is a monster of a machine. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite effects about this whole system here is how customizable the colors are, the displays. So, let me see if I can bring this thing in here just a little bit closer. Down here on this actual keyboard, if you can kind of see this, before we get into the ports, we're going to talk about all the ports that this thing has here. But actually, on the keyboard itself, you have somewhat backlights. You have backlights underneath the keyboard. You have the coloring of the alien here. You have the color of the alien wear that's here on the screen. If I turn it to the sides, you see that it has coloring going across the borders. That is on both sides of the laptop, as well as if I unplug this really quick and turn it around, I also get the color of the alien here. And because I just unplugged it, it's not going to show me any love there. Because I do have it set to um, when I'm not plugged into power to actually deactivate my light so that it doesn't drain my battery. I'll try to zoom in on these so you can see these just a little bit more. What we have are our audio jack, of course. We have our microphone jack. We have just a standard USB 2.0 input here. And then we have a USB C3 um, import here as well. Going to the back, if I unplug my adapter, you'll notice what we have here. Starting over here to the right, we just have the AC adapter, of course, that powers the unit. We have the Alienware graphics amplifier port here. We also have this Thunderbolt Type-C multi-port. So this actually works as a 3.1 USB um, 3 port or a C3 port which can, as we know, kind of transports up to like 10 gigabytes of storage. But also, if you want to use it as a Thunderbolt connection, you're talking about 40 gigs per second of transfer. Like, what is that? Crazy, right? You have your HDMI input here. You also have your, um, oh, uh, mini display. I was like, Jesus, what is this? You have your mini display, and then, of course, you have your Ethernet here, Killer's Network, E2400 Ethernet bit. And then on this side, you just have another standard uh, 2.0 USB input. Right across the front of this bad boy is where our two speakers are. It has amazing high-quality, high-definition sound coming out of these two speakers here. And then, again, it is just, it's massive. It's massive. There's not nothing that I have ran on this that it has not been able to handle. I was playing um, Wildlands on it. I don't necessarily prefer to play that on here. I play that really mainly on the PS4, but um, it handles it, I mean, like, like a freaking pro. Like, literally, like a freaking pro. So some things that I bought to kind of go along with this. Of course, I need a carrying case to go along with this massive thing. So I actually ordered one of those 
um, from Dell itself. So here is the 17.3 kind of carrying case. It's just simply called a traveler's case, which is really nice. Um, you'll notice it kind of has the Alienware logo on the front. I have a pocket here that's on the front where I usually put the AC adapter. Over here on the back, it's a little dusty. It says Alienware going across. And then inside, it's just, just felt. But it does keep it protected pretty nicely. I can fit, like I said, the AC adapter in the front pocket. I'm able to put my mouse and then also the machine inside of this bag. So that works really well. Also, the mouse that I've been using with this, I have been using the Razer Death Adder Chroma uh, mouse with this when I'm doing my gaming. And this has worked really well. I actually have two mouses that I use. One that's kind of a generic one that I've gotten off Amazon, and then I use this one. And I'll probably be doing a review of this as well as a comparison because, believe it or not, that Amazon one be kicking for $13 as opposed to the 80 bucks to spend on the Death Adder. But still, an amazing mouse. So look for a review on this mouse and a comparison to the Amazon mouse a little bit later on my channel that I'll be putting up for you guys. And so that's basically it. So um, kind of tell me your thoughts about Alienware. If you like certain PCs for gaming, tell me what those are in the description down below. I know a lot of people, funny enough, a lot of people that I talk to don't really care too much about Alienware. They're like, oh, you pay so much and you could really get so much more if you went to someone else or if you built it yourself. And while that most definitely can be the case, you know, with everything, you have just those things that you like. You know, there's, you got the Apple and Android people, you got the Xbox One and the PS4, and you got Alienware and MSI and a whole bunch of other people, Aces, who like just different things as far as gaming. So this is what I like. It is working well for me. And uh, I think I will probably always stay true to Alienware when it comes to PC gaming or PC laptops for gaming. This is pretty much my, my stigma. So share with me in the comments below what you think about this machine, what you think about Alienware, what is your PC gaming laptop or desktop of preference. Always remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, remember, be nice. Vow.